Hi everybody, Cheaply Chic, welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you are doing well. So today, I couldn't resist. I am doing another photo slide embellishment. For those of you who are not part of my channel, and if this is something that interests you, I do have a couple other videos that I'm going to link down below that you can check out. These are so much fun. Right now, I would say they are absolutely my favorite embellishment to create. Even as I watch this video and edit it, I'm like, oh, I wish I could go do that. <laughs> they are, they're just so much fun. So these photo slides were included in the February Heart Song collection because I had been enjoying them so much and I really wanted to give you guys an opportunity to play with them as well, those of you who purchased this collection. So today I am making some Valentine themed embellishments. I'm using items from the kit, although I will be using some stickers as well. And obviously I'm using some gesso here and I will be painting over the top of them. If gesso is not something that you have, you can absolutely just add some white paint as your primer. That'll work too. And I will make a quick mention here at the beginning of this video, there are a few Heart Song collections left in the shop. And as I post this video on Sunday afternoon, this is February the 28th, um, most of the items, everything actually in my shop is on sale. These collections being one of them, or even just the photo slides. If you just want some of the photo slides themselves, those are listed in my shop too. So I just wanted to mention that also, I know that those of you who are not part of the Facebook group haven't seen my post and I have gotten some questions about the next collection. The next collection will be released this upcoming Friday. Um, let me look at the date, March 5th. So on March 5th, Friday at noon Eastern Standard Time, I will be releasing the March collection, which is called Home Sweet Home. And I'm super excited about that one too. It's um super cute so yes be on the lookout for those videos here in the next few days so here i am taking some tim holtz paint because i love this color right now any acrylic paint works anything you have on hand i got a little bit too much on my slide there so <laughs> i used it on both of them this paint is really interesting because it has a different it just behaves differently than a typical acrylic paint um, so I am going over it again and giving it a second coat. I'm going to blow dry it again and then I'm going to take a fingernail file and just do a little bit of distressing and sand down the edges. And just so you guys know, I like to use a very heavy grit nail file for that. Like not one of the real soft ones, you know, but one of the heavier grit files made for fake nails most of the time. So anyway, I am going through some little paper scraps here. These dictionary pages were in the kit and that little scrap of music paper I had left. I wanted to do something a little different than the last embellishments I made where I was using vellum well, it wasn't vellum. Well, no, I think it was, sorry. It was vellum paper that I had tea stained, which is beautiful. But today I wanted to play around with this dictionary page and I picked that word dowdy because I liked how it said shabby. 
there in the definition, so I kind of framed those words a little bit. It's really hard, you know, to get one dictionary page and try to find something <laughs> on there, but I did. I like that word. I thought it was cute. And then I'm going to use the music notes and frame them with this other frame. It took me a minute to figure out how I wanted to decorate these exactly, but I do love what I came up with. So I have these leftover heart stickers. I always love them around Valentine's Day and then they pretty much just sit in my stash, you know, until next year. So I wanted to make sure to use those and I also am choosing a Tim Holtz word for this little slide with the music paper. I do end up adding a little bit of art glitter glue to the back of it just to make sure that it stays put. And then I'm going to play around with some sequins. There's a little tiny bag of sequins I included in the kit in case you wanted to make a shaker or something. So I'm going to use those. I also have some little heart shaped sequins that I had in my stash. I'm going to use those as well. You might laugh a little bit as you watch this process with the sequins. <laughs> Here in the beginning, I really had to figure out how to get the sequin to stick to the paint. I added the glue to the back of the sequin and I'm messing around with it a little bit. I'm having a hard time with my tweezers. Here I'm actually like trying to pick one out with my tweezers. Well, I'm not really that coordinated, you guys. They end up in a pile here next to me in a second. <laughs> and see, now I'm adding the glue to the slide itself, which is really what works in the long run.
Okay, so now for the fun part. I decided to use some of my vintage music sheet that came in the collection and make a paper ruffle out of it. So I already tore it with my tear ruler and I inked the edges with some red ink that I had. And I decided to take you along this time for sewing the ruffle. I know that most of us already know how to sew a paper ruffle, but Sometimes it's just fun to watch it all over again. So I had some pink thread and I used a fun little zigzag stitch. I always enjoy that. I'm going to be adding both of my little framed embellishments to these ruffles and I want one for each side of the book. You know, like one page is on the left, the other page is on the right. And I wanted to make a conscious effort to make one for each side of the book. I decided they definitely needed a little bit of texture behind them, so I went over to my little scrap basket and I pulled out some burlap. That's one of my favorite things to play around with. I also had this scrap piece of lace, and then I had some leftover fabric scraps from working on the actual cover, that little eyelet fabric there was in that basket, so I'm just playing around and doing a little layering. All right, you guys, and that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you didn't mind me sharing one more <laughs> slide video. These are so much fun. I love them so much. I hope that those of you who had them in your collection enjoyed them as well. Don't forget, there is a design team that is playing around with this collection too. Those links will be in the description box down below, as well as the Facebook group, like always, and my Etsy shop, if you're interested in picking this up for yourself. So I just wanna say thank you you one more time if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next video bye